This is Distance from Center. I'm Horton. That is... Trent Finlayson. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Hey, Trent, so a couple weeks ago, we got a new issue of the Water Skier magazine. And, and, and just to be, um, just so everyone knows, that that's a USA <laughs> Water Ski newsletter. Like, just... Newsletter. Yeah. In, in case okay. anyone didn't know, know what the Water Skier was. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a hot button. Well, no, people you. just get people hey. get psyched. They're like, "No way, Water Ski Magazine is back!" And I'm like, "No, no, 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 it's not." Unfortunately, yeah. I wish it was, but it's not. Anyway, yes, go ahead. Right. So the Water Skier came out, and there's an article uh, written, or it was an interview between Paul Fong, who is the executive director of IWWF, and the new president of IWWF, whose name I'm gonna really try not to slaughter. I apologize if I get this wrong. But his name is Jose Antonio Perez. Per, how'd you say it? I mean, I would say Prezio, but, but you know, and it probably wouldn't be completely offensive. It's probably so wrong, but. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, Jose, I apologize if you got it completely wrong, but that's beside the point. So, it's really interesting that these two guys came together and did an interview for the water mm -hmm. skier. Um, I, frankly, I'm kind of pleased because as a, as a lifetime ADBSA member, sometimes I feel like international is this thing that's happening over in Europe, out of sight. We don't really know what they're doing, but we're, we often have to abide by their decisions and actions. Um, but one of the first things they talk about in the article, they come right out and say that one of the primary goals of IWWF is to get water skiing or toad sports into the Olympics. And I'll say this is something that I have heard for decades, but it was kind of like, I didn't know if it was a conspiracy theory or not, because frankly, I think it's a hysterical, idiotic joke. You want to you wanna temper that yeah, at all? Yeah, I was just digesting it. That, that was heavy. Um, well, okay, so... I mean, yes, it's long been the goal, and and, and you know, and I can just go back into the we'll, we'll say the early early '90s, um, up up in skiing up in Canada. Um, um, that was you know so Perfect Pass, the original cruise control system that was designed in Canada, and actually you know unless you were skiing up there, a lot of people didn't know that it was being utilized at our nationals years before it was available um, as kind of a test ground, um, and under you know, under that or w with that explanation is, you know, this is our ticket to the Olympics. So grin and bear it because, well, you know, those first couple nationals, it was, it was borderline unusable. Um, um, but it was, it was with that sentiment, Hey, you know, grin and bear it. We're, we're on the forefront because we're doing this as a, as an entry into the, you know, or as it to increase our chances for an Olympic bid. And, you know, and as a kid, uh, uh, that left me like wide eyed and like, wow, no way. Maybe, you know, that makes sense to me. This is our, our, uh, you know, this that might have been the the the, the defining factor, meaning um, a, a hand hand driven boat that was keeping us um, away from this Olympic dream. So anyway, my point is, yes, I've long known that that was a, a, an international goal or a goal of the IWSF. Well, and I know you know here in the United States, ADWSA became subservient to USA Water Ski as an attempt to create a a general organization that was going to be the central uh, federation for uh, water, I hate the term, toad water sports, yeah. uh, be it uh, three event water skiing, ski racing, show skiing, kneeboarding, now surfing, should I already say show skiing, whatever. But so, but so we created this, this whole organization, which in my mind made AWSA unable to be nimble and I would we be far better off today if we hadn't chased the Olympic dream and we were independent um, nobody can say yeah. nobody can say I, I, but it's arguable that we had the opportunity yeah so I mean you know I I feel like um yeah I think we have um I want to say wasted a lot of time and resources chasing this in my opinion un unattainable right. goal um, right. you made a heavy claim though, um, or a, or a heavy statement, um, idiotic and something else. Uh, what, so what, what, like, tell, yeah. what, what's, where's that coming from? I just, I, I we we're never going to make it into the Olympics. And so, and so what, what international is doing now is they're trying to get cable wakeboarding into the Olympics. Yes. And I got to say that 
that USA Water Ski, excuse me, AWSA is about four or 5,000 members, right? Mm -hmm. I believe that's about double all of the cable wakeboard members in all of IWWF. And even if you combine them with WWA, which is has cable wakeboarding under a different uh, umbrella, mm -hmm. we're still bigger than they are. So my point is, the three event skiers are the constituents, yet the overall organization is chasing this dream that most of the constituents don't even want to be a part of. I mean, I don't, I, they're not serving me and I'm the member and you're the member. I get it. Yeah. No, I, I and that's a, that's a good point. I, I get what you're saying. Like the, the bulk of the, of the membership is, is not being served by this push to get cable wake into the Olympics. Um, so and and, and and I get that because like my here's my thought is is it like in my opinion and that's only an opinion it's not going to happen you know like this stuff is Correct. this stuff is um um you know to earn a bid it's not saying to be the rule book it's not it's not you know the um you know how how uh, how old if you if you will how old the sport is how how established it is it, it's 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 financially driven and and we don't have the finances like, to buy our right. way into and the Olympics but that being said. In Jose's defense, can you imagine? I mean, I, I get why he's pushing this, or, or or they as an organization. Can you imagine that if if uh, or the, the accolades and the sense of achievement that that they slash oh, he would feel huge. if if Toad Water Sports got into the Olympics on his slash their watch? So I mean, I get I get the motivation, but I I think it's in vain personally. I, I don't think okay, we stand it, a but, chance. But, but, but let's let's play fantasy world. What if cable wakeboarding got into the Olympics? What does that do for three event skiing, which is the core of total water sports? In my opinion, nothing. But further, I I I feel like it almost does nothing for cable wakeboarding either. <laughs> you know, it gives them it gives them a moment in the sun. But like I think like this idea of if if we get to the Olympics, we're saved. We're there. We've got it. I, and I just I've never. You know, I mean, I, when I was a kid, I, I I felt that, but for years, I just don't, I don't, I, that's not how I feel. Like, yeah, you look at ping pong, look at, or, or look at luge, look at, look at skeleton, look at bobsled. Like, I mean, and, and those are the, you know, so the, 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 the latter two, bobsled and, and, and luge, those, those are some of the sports that are actually hell, heavily televised um, during the Olympics. And, 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 and I just not don't see it as being a, a, a savior for the sport. I mean, I know those athletes are, are, as, are as poor as ours or as broke as ours. And, and they're, you know, they're living, living, chasing the dream, you know, sort of uh, Olympics to Olympics. Um, I, so it's, you know, I, it always comes down to, I, I always, you know, have this qualifier. If it sells more boats, if it sells more skis, sign me up, let's do this. And I just don't think that Cable Wake is going to sell more wakeboards if it gets into the Olympics, but. Yeah, I'm surprised to hear you say that because I thought all the members on the Canadian curling team were driving Ferrari. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, that is a thriving professional sport. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. No, those those guys aren't working at Home Depot in the off season like 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 okay. the bobsledders are. Those guys, <clears throat> those guys make coin, man. Uh, yeah, like that. The, really? Yep, yep, yep. yep. It's, um, Dude, I gotta learn to curl. It's it's the curl. best. I grew up curling, um, in like intramural curling, bond spiels on the weekend. Dude, I, I was actually pretty darn good. I'm not kidding. I bet you were. I, were you the broom guy? Um, well, actually, everyone has to sweep at some point. Everybody has to sweep. Um, but anyway, one other point too that we have to keep in mind. Um, our, like our new our new president Jose, he is a he is a skier, um, and I don't right. mean he used to ski. I mean he competed at the Senior Pan Ams last winter in uh, wherever we were, Peru. So um, you know, so he's a skier, he's a competitor. Um, so I, I think that in itself is is gonna help yes. us along the way. But I, I'm with you. No, I, I I'm not that excited about about chasing Olympic dream. Whether it was cable trick skiing or or cable or cable wake it, uh, neither one would, would get me more excited yeah. than the other all right 30 seconds yes what do you got going on <sighs> um riding my mountain bike um watching some people water ski um and uh just getting ready to start the season i'm gonna get myself back on the water next week and um yeah it'll be game on in two weeks Awesome. All right, we'll, we'll come back and talk about Moomba soon. Thank you, folks.